It's time for another thundering brainstorm turned blundering brain fart. Pulled from the pages of 100 of the Worst Ideas in History. We call this entry the butt of a fat joke. And this is a quintessential American story because it involves a well-meaning company addressing perhaps the biggest concern facing Americans back in 1968, and maybe even more so today. And that concern is, how can I shove unlimited quantities of fatty snacks into my face without making my arteries harder than yesterday's linguine? Well, the foodies at Procter & Gamble, back in the late 60s, have the answer. Olestra. It's a new chemically contrived fat substitute, which means we can now consume vast quantities of potato chips, cookies, crackers, fat-free and worry-free. One problem. Olestra is soon linked to acute digestive illnesses. A short time later, the federal government mandates that all Olestra products carry a warning label that includes the possibility, upon consuming these products, of abdominal cramps, diarrhea, and a bizarre malady they term anal leakage. After an initial surge of public excitement, Alestra product sales dropped by 50% within two years. More than 20,000 consumer health complaints are lodged, and its promise of delivering guiltless snacking becomes, as we say in the book, one big fat joke. Yet Alestra can still be found in the marketplace today. It's used as an ingredient in deck staining products and machine lubricants, so you know it's good for you. For 99 other examples of historical, hysterical, stinking thinking from the past, pick up 100 of the worst ideas in history. Beat the crowd and get your copy today. Available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Goodreads, 100worstideas.com, and better retailers everywhere. Get the new audiobook now at audible.com.